Much to the chagrin of these fans and Austin Day. So Mark Few going small here, Craig. We'll see some of this this year. A lot of it actually. Well, I think it's a good lineup. I think he's got a lot of choices, and when your lead's up, you know, 16 points, you can experiment a little bit with your rotations. And I say that, and Josh Heitfeld's off the bench ready to check in. And if you notice last possession, too, Coach Berlin moved the Vandals into a 2-3 zone. They were getting beat pretty bad on the offense, going man-to-man, -man, so now he's going to try to pack it in and make Gonzaga shoot from outside. Brown drives, missed it long. Bolden with the rebound. Bolden running the point. Into the corner, out to Goodson. Here's Day. And, and already we're seeing a lot better ball movement on Gonzaga's part. Instead of taking early shots uh, in transition, you're seeing a couple of extra passes being made. Foul called on Austin Day, who clipped Hobson as Hobson had turned up the floor and was running to the other end. Day was falling and ran into him. His first personal four on Gonzaga, 17-1. Seventeen to one Gonzaga off to a great start against the University of Idaho Jeremy Pargo the reigning West Coast Conference player of the year now in his senior campaign He's the consummate leader both vocal and he leads with actions He really does in last year 33 games Gonzaga played 14 teams that had burst in the NCAA tournament in those 14 games Pargo averaged 15.8 points 9.3 points a game versus everyone else so the young man knows when to play in big games but right now the two games he's played this year against Montana State University Billings in Idaho the main thing that I see that he's doing really well is distributing the basketball 10 assists the other night against Montana State Billings and De Sousa buries the three-point bomb 17 to 4 De Sousa out of Brazil came to Idaho by Way of Leveland, Texas, South Plains Junior College. You getting some sort of kickback from the state if you mention Texas? There is a big, uh, yeah, uh, stipend involved in there. Height fell off the glass too long. Hobson in transition. De Sousa again for three, and he drops in another. So De Sousa, six of ten coming into the game, now eight of twelve on the season from behind the arc. So no surprise that he can shoot from out there. He's got really good form and he's got good lift on his shot. Look at the legs and the extension and a nice follow through. And not only that, the hairdo's going. And he's brought some energy and a bounce to Idaho since the last time out. Idaho on a 7-0 run now. They climbed to within 10. Here's the 2 3 zone. Some teams run that just strictly out of uh, underneath the basket just to, to make sure there's no easy baskets on the out of bounds. But got to go inside. Yeah, that's too easy. Austin found a nice hole in the right behind the guards on that 2 3 zone. And Matt delivered a nice pass to him. And again, Austin using his height advantage and just turning and shooting on the Vandals. They now with seven points. And the foul called on Matt Bolden. That's his second. Five on Gonzaga. Matt's got a little challenge with the hairdo tonight, doesn't he? <laughs> In what way? What? You... It's a little messy, but uh... yeah, it's always messy, isn't it? <laughs> it is always messy. That's true. What I was thinking, the uh, uh, the guy on uh, Idaho's team, same hairdo, might be a fashion statement tonight. Luciano De Sousa. It's got. Uh, a heck of a head of hair. Well, Gonzaga hit their first five and then missed five in a row. That last few goal by Austin Day, ending that 0 for 5 drought. And it's back to a 10 point game now. Pargo drives to Day. Heitfeld posting up, but Jefferson doing a good job fronting him in there. De Souza went for the steal, and Jefferson had his back. Backside help defensively there. Nice block. Yeah, and you got to do that. If you got a guy as active as Luciano is, then you got to make sure that someone's got your back. And here, big Marvin Jefferson does a nice job getting Austin Day shot. Why is it so hard for kids to buy into playing defense? Right? I think because it's an attitude. You got to have a real attitude, and it's really work out there to play defense. Offense comes naturally, but defense you got to really put your nose down and and get in somebody's grill and, and play it. And uh, sometimes you just 
you know, take a take it off on the defensive end. And it's a hard thing to teach, I will tell you that, to make someone play defense. Well, Gonzaga now just three of their last 12 from the floor. It's a 10 point game in Idaho with possession. Jefferson flashing through the middle. Hobson driving. Watson. Offensive foul on Kashif Watson. That's number two on him. And that's five on Idaho. Well, there's Austin Day. Instead of going for the block, holds his ground. He left his feet, though. Did he? Or did he look on like his tiptoes? I don't know. If we, well, maybe. It's hard to tell, but it sure looked like his feet left the floor to me. Well, I was going to say Dr. Krause Let's take is another be... look. Yeah, he did. He skipped a little bit after uh, Watson had gotten in the air, though. Uh, but that'll be a big, big mark on Dr. Krause's uh, grades for Austin Day taking a charge. Third offensive foul by Idaho. A lot of talking going on out there with the Zags. Fargo just spins, drives, hangs, missed. Heitfeld had it. Downs picks it up. Scoop shot. Count it and a chance for three. Well, I was fortunate enough to work with uh, Steve Nash in, uh, in some camps, and, and he said all point guards need to have a solution if you're going to leave your feet. That time it looked like Jeremy had a solution, but it was taken away from him, and he had to throw up a shot. But luckily, when he threw it up, Micah Downs crashed the boards and got the rebound and put it back in. And it should be pointed out that if you're Steve Nash and you're playing in the NBA, if you leave your feet, just throw it up, chances are your teammate's going to go Someone's going to go get it. You're exactly right. <laughs> At this level, we're getting close at Gonzaga uh, to having those caliber of athletes, but not quite there. No, and, and <laughs> there, it's inching there, though. It's pretty darn close. And I thought that was a heck of oh, a great play by Austin Bill. Danny with a lay in. That's why they have him at the point in this zone defense that they're running. He's so long, and if he just gets up and active and pressures the ball, he'll make a lot of deflections. And a timeout, Idaho. And what a coaching ploy by Mark Buda. Change it up, drop into a zone. You've been running man-to-man -man pressure up on the uh, Vandals when they bring the ball out. This time you run a couple of zones and you got Austin Day at the point. Bam. You get a basket, a steal and a basket, and now a timeout by IU. Well, Mark Few certainly has a lot of great depth at guard this year with Stephen Gray and Micah Downs and Jeremy Pargo, Stephen Gray. Micah Downs off to a tremendous start tonight. The senior four of five, 11 points. But I, I think it's really his defense to me that doesn't get noticed enough. No, and if you've got a 6'8 body and the length of Micah Downs and the athletic ability of the young man, defense should be his primary thing. I mean, he's a great offensive player, but defense, he could be someone that you could put on a smaller guy because he's quick enough to guard a smaller guy. But he can also go down and guard a big forward, like a four. And we've seen him play four before also. That's a good point for our producer, Chauncey Jones. You know, when you have Day and Heitfeld and Micah Downs on the floor, they're pretty big. That's long. Yeah, you're going to have a tough time getting to the rim against the Zags with that lineup out there. Throw Matt Bolden at the other guard, and he's 6'5 and built like a linebacker. Here's a steal. Day with a jam! When it looked like Idaho was slowly climbing back into this game, starting to do some good things, Gonzaga's erupting again. Well, you got to credit the defense. They did not drop back when they got a lead. They continued to put the pressure up the floor. And so far, they've looked very good on the defensive end, applying pressure 94 feet. Idaho, nine turnovers, and Gonzaga's turned that into 16 points. Now they're really keeping an eye on DeSouza, who hit a couple of threes, four on the shot clock, hops and drives, left hand off the glass, no good, rebound Day. Outlet near side, Pargo. 